Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived in Bahrain following an official visit to Turkmenistan in response to an invitation His Majesty received from the Turkmen President, Gurban Gulibirdi Mohamedo, where His Majesty held talks with the President that focused on developing cooperation at all levels. Upon arrival, His Majesty the King was received at Sakir Air Base by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa departed Turkmenistan today for the Kingdom of Bahrain, concluding the official visit which came upon the invitation of the Turkmen President, Gurban Gulibedi Mohamedo. His Majesty the King held talks with the Turkmen President on ways of developing bilateral relations in all economic, commercial and investment fields, in addition to discussing regional and international situations. At the forefront to bid His Majesty farewell was the Deputy Chairman of the Cabinet of Ministers of Turkmenistan and Foreign Affairs Minister Rashid Medudov. The Guard of Honours greeted His Majesty the King. His Majesty the King sent a cable of thanks to the Turkmen President, in which he expressed thanks and appreciation for the warm receptions and generous hospitality, wishing Turkmenistan and its people further progress and prosperity under its leadership. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa visited the equestrian complex in the Turkmenistan capital, Ashgabat, which includes rare Turkmen horses. His Majesty was accompanied by the Vice Prime Minister and Foreign Minister of Turkmenistan, Rashid Merdov. His Majesty was greeted by the manager of the complex upon his arrival. His Majesty then watched a number of performances by a group of horsemen from the complex, and precision and technique of which His Majesty and the rest of the audience were appreciative. His Majesty expressed admiration of the performance of the Turkmen horses, which are characterised by their beauty, quality and power. His Majesty appreciated that the care of the President of Turkmenistan, Gubin Guli, for caring for the horse breed and maintaining its well-being. His Majesty expressed keenness on further developing Bahraini-Turkmenistani relations in the field of equestrian sports and affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain possesses quality purebred Arabian horses which are registered at the WAHO organisation and, as a result, it enables Bahraini horses to compete in various regional and international competitions.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Is Al Khalifa visited the Turkmen Carpet Museum, accompanied by the Turkmen Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs, Rashid Meridov, where he was received by the museum manager, Maya Achiranov, and Hussein Husanov. His Majesty toured the museum halls and sections, which included a wide variety of Turkmen carpets. Hussein Husanov briefed His Majesty the King on the history of the museum and the means of weaving Turkmen carpets, which is considered an important part of Turkmen cultural heritage. His Majesty also witnessed cutting the carpet used to adorn camels and horses and the means of making Turkmen carpets. He also viewed the largest Turkmen carpet that won a Guinness World Record. At the end of the tour, His Majesty the King recorded a speech on museum visitors' log in which he expressed pleasure in visiting the museum where he learned about Turkmen history. He also expressed pleasure with the Turkmen government's interest in heritage and culture, wishing everyone success. His Majesty was presented with a commemorative gift on the occasion. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulation to Tunisia's President Beji Kaya Desebsi on his country's independence anniversary. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the Tunisian President Beji Kaya Desebsi on his country's independence anniversary. His Royal Highness the Premier extended his congratulations to the President, wishing him abundant health and happiness. His Royal Highness sent a similar cable to the Tunisian Prime Minister, Yusuf Shahid. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to the Tunisian President, Beji Kaya Desebsi, on his country's independence anniversary. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince extended his congratulations to President Desebsi, wishing him abundant health and happiness. His Royal Highness sent a similar cable to the Tunisian Prime Minister, Yusuf Shahid. 
Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Ibika bint Ibrahim, received today the President of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, BACA, Sheikh Amay bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa. Her Royal Highness hailed the role of the authority led by Sheikh Amay and congratulated the international achievements made by the Kingdom recently, represented by BACA, in recognition of his efforts in preserving and supporting cultural heritage. Her Royal Highness stressed the need to complete the infrastructure that supports the cultural and artistic work of the Kingdom. For her part, Sheikh Amay hailed Her Royal Highness's keenness to preserve the Bahraini cultural identity and expressed thanks and appreciation to Her Royal Highness for her constant support to Bahraini women. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee and Honorary President of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, Brief, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, healed the gains achieved by His Highness's third International Arabian Horse Show, organised by Brief, with a wide participation of stables from Bahrain, Saudi Arabia and Kuwait. His Highness expressed pleasure in the outstanding levels witnessed in the show, which affirmed that the Kingdom is capable of holding large Arabian horse show events. Commander-in-Chief of the Bahrain Defence Force, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, today paid an inspection visit to the Joint Commander's Drill, the Fortress of the Nation, by the BDF along with the National Guard and the Interior Ministry across the Kingdom's various governorates. The Commander-in-Chief stressed, that thanks to the directors of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander, the BDF is constantly building its training capacities, strengthening its field efficiency and honing the skills of its human resources, noting that it has always been a symbol of dedication, patriotism and sacrifice. Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed added that the national duty required doubled efforts and more dedication work, noting that the drills carried out by the BDS various units or with the participation of the National Guard and Interior Ministry are essential for maintaining command skills, showcasing the mastery of joint operations and understanding the modern and latest combat technology. The Commander-in-Chief pointed out that the Fortress of the Nation represents the highest levels of performance, accuracy and mastery at the command and operational levels conducted by the BDF with the participation of the National Guard and Interior Ministry which contribute to strengthening the pillars of security and stability in the Kingdom, expressing pride in the performance of the affiliates of the BDF, the National Guard and the Interior Ministry, citing their high morale, determination and resolve while undertaking the tasks assigned to them. He indicated that the BDF is constantly assessing its training plans to raise the level of its sections and units and ensure its servicemen reach the required training level that would enable them to perform the tasks to the fullest. He pointed out that the Joint Commander's drills are based on scientific criteria, reality and previous experiences and therefore the BDF is keen to ensure that they match the needs of the National Guard and the Interior Ministry. The Commander-in-Chief stressed that the need to double efforts in order to preserve security and stability of which the Kingdom is blessed under the leadership of His Majesty the King. The Field Marshal lauded the sacrifices made by Bahrain servicemen and highlighted the importance of the Joint Drill in assessing the level of the participants, including officers and servicemen, expressing hope that the joint exercise will provide a solid database for the BDF, the National Guard and the Interior Ministry that would assist them in carrying out their various tasks under various circumstances. Under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, inaugurated the 21st Middle East Oil and Gas Show and Conference, MIOS 2019, at Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Centre. The event was organised by the Society of Petroleum Engineers, SPE, an Arab exhibition management company, in cooperation with the National Oil and Gas Authority, NUGA, and supported by a number of regional and international oil companies. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah expressed sincere thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for patronising the conference and the accompanying exhibition. He conveyed the greetings of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to the organisation and the participants in the exhibition and wished them success in contributing to the development of the oil and gas industries. The Deputy Prime Minister stressed that the oil industry sector is of great interest to the government under the leadership of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister who spares no effort in upgrading it and bringing it up to date with the latest international systems. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah stated that investment in the oil and gas industries is one of the most important bases for diversifying the investment and industrial base. The Deputy Premier later toured the exhibition, 
where he was briefed on the products that represent the latest modern technologies in the oil and gas industry. He praised the excellent organisation of the exhibition and its reputation that attracted the participation of major global companies, including regional and international oil institutions. In conclusion, Sheikh Khaled praised the efforts of MIOS organisers, wishing them success in achieving more future ambitions aimed at developing the oil industries. He noted the importance of this global event, which offers a good opportunity to share experiences, information and successes. For his part, the Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, thanked the Deputy Premier, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah, for inaugurating the exhibition. The Minister of Oil stated that despite the current challenges and fluctuations in oil prices at the global level, investment in the oil industry is still promising and continues to evolve. He noted the Kingdom's keenness to develop the oil industry to enhance its ability to achieve returns that contribute to promoting the national economy. Actually, our company uh, provides services in oil and gas and uh, commercial uh, industry, industry uh, services and have equipment as well. We actually uh, yearly uh, participate in this uh, oil exhibition due to uh, networking, due to relationship with other company, due to repetition that we hear about this uh, oil, uh, oil uh, exhibition. Metals of Bahrain was established in 1992 to uh produce tools, chemicals, and uh, equipment for the oil field services. Uh, the factory produces uh, tools uh, that is used for the downhole uh, cleanup uh, systems, uh, mainly in Saudi Arabia. We are uh, main suppliers for Tatweer, Saudi Aramco, and Abu Dhabi National Oil Company. We also produce chemicals, stimulation chemicals, and uh, uh, cleanup chemicals for the wheel, uh, oil fields. Uh, MIOS exhibition is uh, one of the uh, major exhibitions here in Bahrain and in the region, I would say, uh, that attract the major uh, national oil companies and international oil companies, in addition to all the service providers uh, related to uh, uh, oil and gas uh, industry. Uh, for us here in Bahrain, this is a, uh, one of the events that we make uh, the maximum use of it uh, by really exchanging ideas and discussing challenges uh, with the experts uh, from the region and all, all over the world. The Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi, a Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan, received the Representative's Council Speaker, Fawzi bin Abdullah Zainal. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed welcomed Zainal expressing pride in the deep-rooted relations between Bahrain and the UAE and affirming the keenness and bolstering cooperation and coordination in all fields for the interest of the two countries and their people. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed congratulated Zainal on the occasion of her election as the Council Speaker, asserting that this important achievement highlights the role of Bahraini women in the national development field under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and upon his inspiration to Bahraini and GCC women. For her part, Zainal hailed the high level the UAE had reached under the leadership of His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayan and the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed that have highlighted the modern and humanitarian image of the UAE and made it an important economic centre regionally and internationally. She wished UAE further progress and prosperity in its development march under its leadership. The Representatives Council held its weekly meeting today, chaired by its Speaker, Fazia bin Abdullah Zainal. The Council approved a draft law amending a number of provisions of the Decree Bylaw 78 of 2006 on the Unemployment Insurance. 
The Council also approved a draft law amending Article 10 of Law 27 of 2005 on education regarding adding a new main subject in government schools on reciting the Holy Quran. The Council also approved the request of the Services Committee President on withdrawing the Committee's report regarding a draft law that added a new paragraph to Article 27 of Law 19 of 2006 on re regulating the labour market. The report of the Services Committee on a proposal regarding providing a hotline in the visual communication system in the deaf and mute service ministries was approved. The Council also approved including on the agenda a proposal on granting permanent residency to Bahraini children whose mother is married to a foreigner. Governor of the Southern Government, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Khalifa Al Khalifa opened the In Love with Rifa exhibition which was jointly organised with the Child and Mother Welfare Society at its headquarters. The event was attended by senior officials, representatives of the public and private sectors, as well as the wider community. His Highness referenced the development that Bahrain thanks to the backing of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, First Deputy Prime Minister and Deputy Supreme Commander, has succeeded in maintaining social peace and solidarity across all social sectors. His Highness praised the efforts of all those who participated in the event, which he said inspired appreciation of the pride of Rifa. The event brought together collections of traditional items and historical documents, as well as artists who are members of civil society organisations. Today we are celebrating the love for Rifa City and we, uh, we approach a lot of uh, hobbies and a lot of the culture between the photographers also the antique um, contents. Participating as uh, my artworks with my projects, at, as you see, uh, some pieces of about Rafa, and some pieces of my uh, uh, my artwork uh, in coffee. I do painting with coffee. So this is some of my art artwork, and the horse, the blue horse, his highness, he loved it. The Electricity and Water Affairs Minister, Dr. Abdul Hussein bin Ali Mirza, affirmed that his visit of His Majesty the King to Turkmenistan would benefit the Kingdom of Bahrain in all economic, commercial, industrial and investment fields. He noted that during his participation in the opening of the Turkmenistan Exhibition for National Products, participants were keen to make bilateral deals with the Bahraini commercial sector. The Minister also participated in a seminar for businessmen in which he presented a visual presentation on the projects and achievements of the electricity, water and renewable energy in the Kingdom and reviewed the Bahraini experience in this field and the investment opportunities available to international companies in these sectors. The Minister Mirza held a bilateral meeting with the Deputy Prime Minister of Turkmenistan for Electricity and Energy on strengthening relations and cooperation between the two sides. He also met with the Deputy Prime Minister for Water and Agriculture to discuss cooperation and strategies for water sustainability and its conservation as a natural resource. Under the patronage of the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications, Engineer Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed, CEO of the Information and E-Government Authority, Mohammed Ali al opened today the ninth edition of the Information and Communication Technology Conference alongside a Bitex 2019 exhibition organised jointly by the Bahrain Technology Company Society and Work Smart for Events Management. More in this report by Hiba Ibn Kafar. With the objectives to promote the ICT sector and provide a common platform for all IT enthusiasts and decision makers of both private and government sectors, the three-day conference Meet ICT and Bitex exhibition gather experts, end-users, frontline workers and innovators to promote initiative technologies, best practices, implementation strategies, research in the field of ICT. People, participants and the uh, exhibitors come from outside. We have big uh, exhibitors from uh, Jordan and from other countries. Uh, demonstrates the importance of the ICT uh, to the development of the country, uh, cutting costs, uh, improving the services, uh, the digital uh, agenda that we have in the government. Under the slogan, Innovative and Adaptive Digital Transformation, Meet ICT 2019 explores the developments and needs of the technology market in Bahrain and the region and how best to meet them, featuring more than 30 prominent speakers from around the world. 
we consider this event or this function as a platform whereby the Bahraini uh, companies, the Bahraini ICT companies will be able to see three things. Number one, the trend of the market. Number two, their customers. And number three, the possibility of doing cooperation among themselves. Running alongside the conference, Bitex 2019 exhibition gathers more than 50 local, regional and international IT companies to offer their services and products, sign agreements and contracts and enter into fruitful partnerships. It provides an opportunity for great American companies that are part of that digital uh, transformation to uh, display and uh, speak with their uh, clients and customers and prospective customers about the services and the products they offer. Uh, so we think it's a fundamental uh, opportunity for us uh, to continue to build our strong commercial partnership with Bahrain to focus on ICT because it really is the, the, uh, the sector of the future. It's expected that the conference will come out with practical recommendations capable of strengthening Bahrain's position as a technologically advanced environment for re-exporting. ICT and Vitex 2019 bring together top businesses and ICT professionals from all over the world to share insights and expertise regarding the latest innovations. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdelghafour.